Hi, welcome. This is the energy of today, November 3rd. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, November 3rd? What does the viewer need to see and hear for today, please? November 3rd. November 3rd. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, first, the first one is peace of mind. So this is letting you sort of go into this place of having faith and hope and just knowing that everything's going to be okay. And perhaps there's things that you're trying to change about yourself or your environment. And um, this is sort of that push to keep continuing with your focus. Um, as far as having a peace of mind that everything is going to be okay. Um, and then romantic partner. And so are you attracting that romantic partner? I mean, it keeps coming out in the last couple weeks or so about love and soulmates. So are you trying to manifest that partner? We have uh, a masculine and feminine here. It's almost as if you can't lose hope of that. Um, let's see. And then making new friends. So even, um, you know, sometimes you have to sort of clean out your tribe and just start to attract more positive people or like-minded individuals with the making friends um and so perhaps this is that that kind of message to keep going forward in the things that you're trying to create Ex um you have a creative expression so uh, this definitely could be finding uh, yourself, like going to the tune of your own voice and having that kind of um, confidence in yourself that you're manifesting and attracting these things, whether it is a romantic partner or new friends or maybe both, you know, um, you also have awakening your true self so this is what's happening and and i do feel it's on a mass level where people are finding themselves and the old sort of paradigm is sort of leaving in that sense of um maybe you've been attracted to toxic people or um you know maybe gossiping or um maybe even this kind of thing of your image is really far more better than your authentic self you know um, so you have to take it as it resonates because I do feel that there's a lot of changes going on. And if you let your mind really store, uh, steer towards those kind of things that are not peaceful, um, you sort of attract that kind of thing over and over. So I do feel with the peace of mind, it's really letting you know um, everything is going to be okay. Uh really make peacefulness your highest priority and commit to perhaps taking steps to ensure peace of mind um, and that will sort of carry you into relationships and making new friends attracting new friends um, I definitely do feel like there is like a mass awakening as far as uh, waking up from that old paradigm and that old kind of um, uh, you know, not being able to see things, I call it, it's the veil. It's like the veil is lifted and now you can see things clearly. And so perhaps this is where you have to be true to yourself and you're beginning to recover your 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 natural self, your natural identity. Um, um, maybe you're finding some sense of humor in your uh, in, in aspects of your life and situations. Um, and this is really a pull towards new interests and new passions and desires. Um, and so trust the confusion, the, you might be going through a very, a transition and it brings a lot of confusion, but if you stay focused, you will be able to manifest good things for you. So the top of the deck is be honest to yourself. So is there something here that you haven't quite been honest? Have you still been sort of under that dark veil of thinking that your the exterior, the way people see you is healthy for you? Like something like that. It's like you have to become authentic and sort of um, really allow yourself to heal um, with that card. And, and honesty is one of those things that will help you sort of change. Um, and so the bottom of the deck, and this is the underlying energy, 
uh, this is really what is influencing this reading it's letting go and we are at this point where it's time to let go of all the negativity the gossiping the toxic people um maybe even that sense of mis misinformation that you're getting from um different outlets that are not being honest to you you know uh, media social media um friends family whatever that is even even the sense of with letting go um you know sometimes it's hard to let go of those negative things that have happened to you um but if you keep yourself in that negative pattern you still sort of uh relive those kind of things and you attract more of those things so is this really that kind of energy of um opening yourself up to maybe miracles and healing okay it's very powerful at this time and you are going to have the chance to perhaps express yourself more creatively and more lovingly to yourself and the romantic partner wow so maybe you've lost hope that you can have that kind of um partnership with someone or maybe you're healing a, a current um relationship that you're in um and so don't give up that hope that you can heal you know but it is denoting that there's a new romantic person coming your way um and you know if it isn't in in love maybe this is business because business is you create partnerships with the people you work with so take it as it resonates um but it's really that revival of passion and really perhaps even rekindling ex existing relationships. So take it as it resonates for you today. I will go a little further and uh, see what these mean for you guys. So welcome. Please like, share and subscribe. Uh, leave me your comments and all that good stuff. I do read them and I do appreciate your your feedback. Thank you guys. I'm always here to help you as much as I can. So let's see here. Let's see what this means. Okay, so what is the peace of mind? And see, I find the peace of mind very refreshing in that sense that maybe you're learning to get out of the clutter. Uh, the clutter being toxicities and things that haven't allowed you to grow. And um, yeah, that's what it feels like. Uh, it's really that kind of card that um, I feel God is telling you everything is going to be okay. I see the number 444 and that's really that that um, that signal that you will have. Okay, you got the 10 of coins, which is you will have abundance. You will have that family that you're seeking or maybe that that um, that uh, healing in the family, you know, um, it's like getting your wishes come true is what I feel. And so you've got the the Ten of Pentacles, you got the Ace of Swords, you have the Devil, and you have the World. So completing a cycle, um, perhaps this is detaching from those things with the Devil. You know, uh, sometimes the Devil card represents um, this kind of energy of being blocked by your own mind and really being at attached to the wrong thing the seductive things the things that you do too much of you know um and it blocks you so i do feel like this is maybe where you've gone full circle and you're healing from that negative energy that the devil carries okay um because these are positive cards um is it in your mind that you don't believe that changes can happen either to you or to a situation uh, maybe you've been so filtered um, to not believe in yourself and have confidence. And I see maybe something that keeps happen as a, happening as a repetitiveness that keeps you locked into some kind of toxic situation. Is it your mind? Um, but I do feel it's, it's time to move on from that. What is the world, please? What is the world? What is the world? What is the world? So you have, see, three of wands. So the things you've been waiting for, the things that maybe you thought were out of reach or they haven't quite manifested for you, they are coming in with the three of wands. But you see, he's holding on to one wand and he's leaving two wands behind. So are you ready to release this sort of devil energy, this toxic kind of energy so that you can move forward and really get the things that you truly want? 
Um, what is the devil, please? What is the devil? Um, so the temperance, having patience with yourself, healing, um, knowing that you don't have to stay the same as you were before. Um, this is really that kind of card that maybe you need to speak the truth as well. As I'm looking at the say, Ace of Swords with the temperance, it's like you got to relieve yourself from the negative things that maybe you thought were correct in the past. And now they are not, they're not serving any purpose to you. Um, let's see, what is the Ace of Ace of Swords, please? Ace of Swords, some kind of truth, some kind of clarity. It feels as if some kind of fog has been lifted in that sense where you can have clarity um, and maybe some kind of confidence in yourself. Um, you got the magician and that is beautiful. That is really recreating something for yourself. Uh, giving yourself that upper leg and, and sort of starting over again. The chariot and then the four of cups. Um, also, I do feel it's this one, the strength. So needing that strength to to move out of this place of with the four of cups, maybe you've been waiting for this big change to happen, but you haven't taken any kind of responsibility for your own self uh, to, to maybe move out of compliancy or... Um, that place where you know if you sit too long by yourself you miss opportunities and maybe wallowing you know um i do feel like this is where you have to use that inner strength with the strength card to become and recreate yourself into something new and i do feel the chariot is freedom it's that sense of balance um being able to take from the good and the bad but still staying down that that straight and narrow kind of straight line you know um yes okay so let's see with the ton of coins what is the ton of coins please it's it's almost as if um you have a hard time maybe thinking that you can have success in family in work um in yourself you know having abundance and maybe abundance without negativity or that sort of attraction that um money is everything you know what i mean um let's see here you have the six of cups and you have the the um four of coins so there is something there um i'm sorry the nine of cups as i'm looking at this roman numerals always mess me up but it's the ten of cups so are you looking for some kind of happiness have you been holding out for that happiness do you sort of believe that it's not going to happen and I do feel like this is where you have to keep yourself in that place of having the peace of mind. And maybe this is mind over matter um, instead of focusing on the negative or the things that people have told you that you are or um, that kind of misinformation that sort of blocked you from seeing the truth. It's almost like you have to hold on and you will get that abundant, that sort of reward with the four coins it's it's a gift it's a reward it's a gain and it comes something to do it it comes with some kind of happiness in your life so i do feel like things are happening um maybe even if you don't see them uh with the devil energy it's really like maybe you're overthinking you're over focusing and thinking that it won't happen so this is that time where you need to sort of um have trust and faith and know that things are, are working out in your favor because the world is really denoting that there's a new cycle that's going to start for you are you going to be able to travel from place place to place um are you able to sort of come together with some someone or something that sort of makes you happy um yeah let's see here what is that romantic partner please have you been waiting have you been manifesting for a long time and sort of lost the hope you know because you haven't quite seen it on the on the 3d where it can be tangible what is the rom romantic partner please and like i said this does denote some kind of harmonious rekindling of a relationship or maybe a whole new partner what is the romantic partner here please the romantic partner what does that mean romantic partner okay so you got the fool a fresh start but you know that fresh start needs that leap of faith you need to have confidence you need to feel as if you can start this new commitment this new um 
a union, a partnership, whatever this is with the Four of Wands, it, it's really taking that leap of faith. And it is sort of denoting a new beginning here. You got the Six of Wands, you got the Six of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to have a second chance at something. You're going to be able to rekindle that, that relationship with someone. It could be a kindred spirit. And as I looked at the Star card, and I didn't say it because um, I didn't want to sort of push it out there but they confirmed it with the six of cups it's a soulmate it's a twin flame it's a kindred spirit it's somebody who tames the beast as far as the devil energy so i do feel like this is masculine feminine energy masculine and feminine energy sort of balancing out so that you can perhaps continue to manifest something um something you've been waiting for so i do feel you have this opportunity of luck luck in love um, maybe learning your lessons and knowing like how to stop negative relationships so that you can get in the right partnership um so i do see a lot of things happening wow and i mean this is success here you got two sixes six of cups six of wands so really use your mind over matter to know that you are manifesting this and don't give up no matter what the environment or the exterior is telling you you know um that's what faith is it's like don't lose faith what is making you friends and so this is really that kind of thing where you can also attract a new tribe you know um if you're having difficulty in family or uh with friends and not really seeing eye to eye um making new friends please what is making new friends so positive energy um perhaps attracting like-minded individuals uh, this is where you feel comfortable with yourself as well okay with the sun it's it's almost like your 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 god is is sort of answering prayers for you because you got faith as well you got the three of coins, which is building better foundations, letting go of the negative foundations, uh, continuing to work, you know, discovering something. You have the emperor, the ace of wands and the queen of coins with the, the um, eight of swords. So see, this is where maybe you're stuck with the faith card, the queen of uh, coins and the eight of swords. It's almost where you don't allow yourself to have this or... Maybe there is someone else that's trying to sort of control your your way of being or the new thing that you want to start is what I feel. You got Ace of Wands. There's this passion here. But see, what's blocking you from getting it is that Eight of Swords. So either you're thinking, overthinking it or thinking negative about yourself, okay? But this is where the Emperor sort of overrides this and you take control um let's see what is the queen of coins queen of coins please queen of coins you got the queen of coins and the emperor so see it's almost like that that alignment of a uh, masculine and feminine perhaps grounding yourself um being more nurturing to yourself rather than thinking you can't um change or uh thinking that you're a negative person a bad person um queen of cups i'm sorry queen of coins what is the queen of coins this one right here please queen of coins queen of coins what does that mean okay so okay so this is the person you want to go to uh with the lovers and the page of cups see you want to start over with this person um so i do feel it's like you got to take that leap of faith you really have to sort of go go um take control of the situation with the emperor and step up and really maybe there's things that you need to voice with the ace of swords there's a lot of truth that needs to come out and see this is that gift that god has given you as far as the ace of wands and that passion to sort of move you um so don't be scared and you're not you're not the same person as you were in the past is what they're saying okay so creative um creative expression that means you got to say something and when you say whatever this is that you're holding back from because of the eight of swords that fear or that thing of being blocked in the past and thinking of yourself negative it's like you got to sort of express the new you have to sort of express love or uh, something like that some kind of healing energies maybe apologies 
you got the queen of wands and the queen of swords so the problem here is that perhaps maybe um either you've been listening to the wrong people or maybe you have to pick between two people queen of swords and a queen of wands so um do you have to maybe with queen of swords or the queen of wands do you have to let one down to be able to go to the next does that make sense um maybe this is where you have that freedom to to speak up to to say the truth okay maybe you've been not following your passion and your drive and being sort of nurturing to yourself to allow you to create something new um let's see so maybe it could be any of those things that i just said maybe there are two people you're going uh, back and forth with you know queen of swords please what is the queen of swords what is the queen of swords the queen of swords is the death card so you got to end something maybe with a karmic partner here uh what is the queen of wands please queen of wands so the queen of wands this is the person you hold yourself back from um the knight of swords and the five of cups see there's a regret there's some kind of sadness there there is this thing of not being honest um and see with the queen of swords you're allowing some kind of transformation to happen maybe you need to speak up to somebody um i do feel with the knight of swords it's that quick action um and and you're missing this person i feel okay um five of cups please what is the five of cups the tower so see something big is going to change in that sense of whatever you've been withholding yourself from that that tower shifts everything so that you can perhaps take action um and maybe you're really close to taking that action you know um to perhaps really either take yourself from missing out or uh you're not giving your your self the the room to express something about yourself and this person is what i feel okay um so yeah take that as it resonates guys it is a general reading um let's see i want to know how does this story conclude what's the conclusion of this story please what's the conclusion <laughs> celebration happiness reunion divine timing um coming together things will come together for you if you believe okay um and then the two of pentacles so there's a choice that's going to be made between these two queens um maybe one's a younger queen and one's a more mature queen uh in that sense of um thinking different one ice cold and one pure full of passion okay um there is a choice there and the tower very quickly very something finally it's almost like there you know that that saying the straw that breaks the camel's back whoever this is it's almost like i could just feel it it's just been holding a lot of pressure in and a lot of maybe things that they haven't quite said or conveyed um but it's it's just that very one little thing that will happen and it'll just sort of change everything but it, it leads you to this place of you know maybe coming together with this person or the situation and creating more love and abundance for yourself um yeah it's that it's almost like whoever this is you've you've experienced a lot um a lot of loss and now it's time to get out of it and it's time to sort of pull yourself into freedom and my throat chakra is closing up <coughs> excuse me guys for who whoever that is I do feel like this is that kind of energy of taking that leap of faith so that you can get out of remorse or sadness or loneliness, whatever that is, okay? And I do see a big change happening because there's somebody's becoming that magician. They're giving them themselves that opportunity, okay? So very nice, really. Um, let's see here. Um what is the karmic cycle here please what is the karmic cycle that you can show me see there's an end to a karmic situation guys and perhaps this person is still healing trying to get out of all that trauma or toxic kind of energy that was induced by that karmic situation you have the coffin um 
endings, bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, freedom. I feel freedom with the chariot, okay? Um, the hand card, hands of cards. So take a chance, risk, uh, being, being strategic, options, okay? Not showing your hand. So it's almost like being secretive about something. And then sort of you, you just come out and just it just sort of express it is what I feel. Um, I think it's hidden love. I think it's it's something that you've sort of repressed from yourself. Um, you have the stab in the back, so heartbreak, pain, separation. Um, it's really what I feel from this masculine, this this King of Pentacles. Okay. Um, you also have the golden mirror, so self-sabotage, narcissist, one-sided relation, love bombing. So see, this person hasn't experienced a true love until perhaps maybe they met the Queen of Wands and started to recognize the Queen of Swords was not quite healthy, right? So I do feel like this is where this person needs to let go of that devil energy. Um... What else can you show me as a karmic cycle here? Beating themselves up, you know? That's why temperance came out and says you got to sort of, you know, be tender to yourself. So the karmic relationship, feeling triggered, turmoil, res resentment, lessons letting go and loving you. So learning your lessons and loving you. There you go. It's, it's, it's there, guys. Um, so just wait for that thing. Or that change to happen because you got the tower twice there's drastic change coming and i think it's the element of surprise that's going to hit you um i want to know how do they continue to manifest this please how do they continue um so let's see you have this one here the sacred flow of yes so yes is beautiful because when you have a yes there's no doubt you know when you have authenticity and you have the truth a yes will not offer any no's. It will not. It will not give you any doubt. Okay. Um. And then, cut the cords of doubt. Right. That's what I was just saying. It's like there's something you're doubting that you can't have, and and so you keep suppressing it. But really, you can have it. You really can. I think you need to speak up. Um. And then you have celebrate your wins so yeah don't focus on the negative okay um and maybe your win is that you've changed that you transformed and then make a mission statement for your soul and tell your soul what you want and take that risk and get it okay um and then you have welcome the divine masculine and that's what i feel here is happening to the king of pentacles um i think the king of pentacles is almost representing this kind of energy because I saw two queens here, but one was younger and one is older. And what I see now as I see these cards is that maybe you thought your queen of swords was a queen, but maybe they were a page or a prince, a princess, not so much a queen, where the queen of wands is that queen. And so you got to heal something here with this masculine energy and let yourself know that you can have this. It's, it's possible to have it, you know? having believe in faith okay i hope that makes sense whenever i lay out more cards i see the whole story different so at one point it has to come to an end <laughs> so sorry about that guys that's just me pushing my chair around there we go okay so i want to know what is the insight for this reading please so you have two of them um you have take a light bath oh my gosh and that one keeps coming and really showers when you get in the shower with the hot water and you just tell yourself i'm letting go of the and the negative you know and i'm going to allow the peace to come in i do feel like that helps so take a light bath imagine a picture above your head pouring out infinite light let the light wash you wash over you touching every nook and cranny of your being inside and out so that comes with belief also guys create just for you you don't need an abundant an audience to create make some something do something for the sole purpose of enjoying it do it simply because you love and it brings you joy you love it and it brings you joy okay um let's see here I want to know what is the chakra message with this reading, please. The chakra message. 
What is the chakra message? It's like divine masculine is beating up on himself and you really have to sort of be gentle with yourself. Um, see, hopo, hopopono. So um, understanding yourself, loving yourself, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Um, spend some time and love yourself and create more joy and positivity. And that is a healing card. You can heal anything, okay? Once you once you decide to let go of the resentment and the pain, you start healing. So what is the angel message here for this reading, please? What is the angel message here? What is the angel message here? Okay, compassion. So Archangel Sariko, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. See, that's what I was talking about. Like, you have to be gentle to yourself and, and really forgive, really, is what I feel. Um... Let's see here. What are these two souls telling each other today, please? What are they telling each other here? These two souls, please. What are they telling each other? Okay, so let's see here. You have adventure awaits. Find it. So there is a new start here. Sometimes the, stronger peop the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. Um, yeah, definitely. So let's see, it says you want a person who comes into your life by accident, but stays on purpose. So did you meet accidentally? If this was an accidental kind of coincidental situation and it turned into love, but you've been sort of smothering it with the seven of swords and not accepting it with the eight of swords and seven of swords. OK, uh, follow your desires and manifest the heck of your life. Start reclaiming who you truly are. And that love is going to lead you into that, who you are, the true authentic side of you. Um, let's see here. I want to know what is the abundance message here, please. The abundance message. What is the abundance message? Um, companionship. Give someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift <laughs> and it's just like when you find that soul person that twin it's like nothing else matters and nothing else can compare to it also um let's see i want to know what is what is the the um what do i say with these cards i'm having a mind block but they know what i'm asking really okay we'll see i don't know sometimes i do that i get a mind block huh let's see it says here um a gamble taking a risk a luck playing a game Ch chances are roll with it random results win or lose an outcome a potential and fate i do feel your pain with your fate so roses love romance affection appreciation devotion fond um high emotional iq gifts friends um enchanted and then passion tender yearning and attached so i do feel like the, this is speaking about love for somebody obviously um let's see i'm gonna end it with the kwan yin please what is the kwan yin for today what is the kwan yin for today please okay so you have this one right here and it says change is in the air sometimes we think i'm sorry sometimes we take things for granted and forget to stop and realize how incredible the ordinary things can be growth does not i'm sorry growth does often seem important improbable yet it happens every day in many ways so too is something growing in your life that seems at the moment unlikely or impossible yet it will happen anyway have faith trust your feelings and relax changes in the air and that is what this card is like the peace of mind just have a peace of mind that god is working on this and you're changing yourself to allow this to sort of manifest for you okay um so thank you so much i do hope i helped somebody today um please like share and subscribe have a beautiful day i'll see you guys tomorrow